Hello, this is Professor Pearsall again, and I'm going to show you another thing in Microsoft Word 2007, uh, and that is how to create a simple table, which might be required uh, for a lab report. Um, let's say, for example, um, we want a table um, where we've got, say, three trials of something. We take a volume measurements before and after like a titration and um, so we we need a few columns for the volume measurements for each trial and then we need rows in our table for the um, uh, before and after the initial and final volume so what I would do first is probably just kind of sketch the table by hand on paper to get an idea <coughs> of how many columns I need and how many rows I might need. Sometimes I just make one row and then I just use the carriage return to, you know, create additional lines. Let's say, um, let's, uh, let's say we have uh, a need of four columns wide and um, uh, let's say four rows. Now we can always delete rows later or add rows. That's very easy to do. Um, <clears throat> let me just show you. So we're going to go four columns and I think I said three rows. So I'm going to go to Insert, the Insert tab, and then Table. Now there's a really handy way to do a table here. If I click here, you can just drag, and you see it automatically fits the width of your margins, the kind of table you want. I think I said I wanted four columns and three rows. Okay, the, uh, this is the in Word 2007, I think this is the easiest way to create a simple table. And then what I tend to do is then just m go from there and manipulate it. Okay, so <clears throat> I start with this table, and uh, again I've sketched out what I want. So um, I'm going to say uh, this column here is trial one, uh, volume, and then I'm going to indicate the unit there and then the this column trial 2 volume excuse me. I'm going to make this parallel language conventionally we write the dimension in units so volume and then unit in parentheses trial 3 again I want to try to use parallel language volume milliliters again I'm just kind of pounding this out right here <clears throat> and um, uh, in this first column here, I'm going to have initial. Okay, let's say I'm getting my data. And I have 0, 0.00, uh, for each of these. Okay, now I I'm just hitting tab. The tab button, tab key, goes to the next cell in my table. So uh, final volume right here. Um, let's say again this is our data. Something like that. Now um, <clears throat> and now I notice that uh, I want a, a new row here. <clears throat> and there's different ways to do this. The, the way I typically use if I want to add a row is I right click on the last on the row I want to add a row to. I right click the right mouse button, go down to table proper. No, I go to insert right here, and I I'm going to choose rows, insert rows below, and there's a row. So I'm going to call this one difference 25.34, 28 11.05. Now this is a pretty good table, but um, you know it doesn't look wonderful. Uh, what I'd probably do is sort of clean it up and make it look a little bit prettier. So I notice there's a big gap right here, so I can drag this over and make that shorter. I'm going to drag this over. I'm going to drag these over. I'm going to drag these over, and. Um, I've also decided to uh, make this a little bit different. I'm going to 
put a carriage return here so that the, the trials are separated like that. Okay, so that gives me a, a, a better looking table. Um, I also notice now I can make these smaller again. Okay, something like that. Um, <clears throat> now, if I want to make these uh, uniform in width, each of these columns, I'm just going to select all three. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do distribute columns evenly. It's going to make the width all the same. Again, that's just making it prettier looking. Uh, also, maybe I'll just make these bold. So I'm going to select them all, and Control B will make them bold, so the the headers stand out. Same thing over here. I'm going to do a Control B, make those bold. Okay. So there it is. Um, <clears throat> we could probably do other things. You might just kind of play around with some of these settings. You see, if I do, you can make tables with these settings up here. You can kind of add different. Uh, you know, just to make the table, you know, nice looking, which has a kind of a polished look. You know, just keep in mind, if you print out on a black and white printer, these colors here are not really going to matter. So there it is. That's how you can make a table.